Welcome back to the show. We're joined now by Cardinal Cross Country Coach Al Carius and runners Michael Spain and Neil Klein. Coach, I want to start with you. Your team is very strong again this year, ranked number one. And where at? Where is this team at right now? You have the big meets, the conference regionals in the next couple of weeks. Where would you put this team right now? You know, actually, we go through phases and uh, in our development and. Right now, we're, we're uh, really just beginning to fine-tune things as we approach the championship time of the year. So we're still, last week we were very, very, very tired. We're running on tired legs, and uh, our preparation is to be at our very best on November 20th. And so it's a process to get ready for that point. And uh, I think we're uh, heading into the championship time of the year, so we're pretty excited about it. And talking to some of these guys at the intercollegiates and just throughout some of the season, they all, you guys always talk about how every race is a preparation for November 20th, for nationals. And you look at a guy like Mike, who's won all three races he's raced in, he looks like he's in pretty good shape right now. Absolutely. You know, we tell, especially talk, starting with the freshmen, you say that uh, one day Bill's in the previous, one week in the previous, one month in the previous, one season, one year in the previous, and, and you want to take something from every training uh, in a session and every meet and take that which you learned the good and the bad and and take it to the next session and so that you can continue to improve and feel very very confident at the end of the year so they're not insulated isolated events they're very very connected and Mike you're a guy that's done very well this year so far in your senior season how are you competing at such a high level right now it's uh, it's an accumulation of the past you know eight years I've been running I wasn't you know, each year is built upon the next, and uh, last year's team is was at such a high level that I was running with them for so long, and I just I continued, and the rest of the guys kind of continued what we had going, and uh, you know, it it's weird to see where you end up, but it's it's a good feeling now because a lot of hard work has definitely been paying off for us. And you're a guy that you know has had some of that individual success this year, but I know you guys always talk about, and you do as well that this is about the team and you guys always run in the pack. How much does that help you guys as you get further along in the season? Being familiar with your race strategy helps a ton, you know, and uh, different races, our pack will be at different points, but we know the end result, if we get stick together, is always gonna work out pretty well. So um, it, it helps build confidence a lot, definitely. And, uh, you know, we'll practice the same as we race. And the goal right now is just moving that pack up. And if we can do that, things will look really good at the end of the year. And Neil, uh, a lot of these meets you guys have done early in the season, you know, some of these bigger meets like the Intercollegiates, the Notre Dame invite next week at Oshkosh, you know, these are big fields with a lot of big schools and this really has to get you guys prepared when these are some of your early season tests, right? Uh, yeah, uh, the look is going to be a lot different at Nationals that you can't get the same look, but like putting your, um, putting that mental side in, you know, getting, it, getting that fast start, running the four parts of the race and getting our, our bodies used to being under that stress really helps us a lot for the end of the year. And Coach, I mean, that's got to be a luxury you guys have to be able to get those guys some experience right away. Oh, with, with freshmen, we tell them there are three objectives that we have for them. You know, number one is the adjustment to college, and that's, that's huge. Number two is experience, and number three, to get on the path that's going to help them to be successful no matter what they do and learn the characteristics and the values that are going to help them to be the best runner that they can be. And, and uh, those are absolutes. They've been true 100 years ago, true today, and be true in the, in the future. Commitment, discipline, work ethic, being a team player, those are words to some people, and we try to make them realities as early as possible with our freshmen, and then they can build off of that. Definitely. And, Mike, you know, you're a veteran guy. You've been through all this before. And I guess the question on everybody's minds, the Triple Crown last year with the national championships, what's the secret that you guys are always good year in, year out, the consecutive CCIW championships? I mean, this is, it's another level. What, what's, the, what's the secret to it? Um, well, we have a tremendous advantage being able to, as a program, have it actually visually seeing what it takes every year. I think it'd be a lot harder of a question to ask what the secret was for the first team to get the ball rolling mm -hmm. but um, you know we've been have we have such a rich history that we see the guys out there day to day grinding the culture that has developed and uh, if you decide that you want part of it you can just be consumed by it so you know it's really nothing more simple than expecting to do well and working hard and it, it sounds really easy and it's not easy but the concepts are and Neil, you guys have been talking about before we got started that, you know, it's about being mentally strong. 
And how much have you seen that progress coming in your freshman year to where you're at now as a junior? Um, coming in my freshman year, you know, I was I was in that top group running with the guys and just seeing the look on their faces every time they're they're running, they're like they physically looked in pain, but they just kept rolling and they just kept grinding and just made them that much stronger and that consumed the younger guys to want to get to that top level. So it really helped us out a lot. And coach, you've been here a long time. You know, where we're at now, what are some things that this team collectively needs to work on going forward, going into the conference, going into the postseason events? I think, you know, a couple of things that we've talked <clears throat> about and, and uh, we're really growing very, very rapidly with this team. It's, it's a very young team. Uh, you could say it's inexperienced uh, and uh, things that go with youth, you have to, you know, to work with. But it, amazingly, they've been maturing very, very rapidly. And, uh, you know, so what we're looking for is them to continue to build that cohesiveness, that team feeling, that team mind that Mike was, was talking about, you know, that that uh, it, it, when, we, when we say when we run, it's not a road race, a bunch of individuals out there. We need to have a feeling like there's something bigger and more important than my individual performance, and that's our collective performance. And it's got to be a basketball game, a football game, a volleyball game, where it doesn't matter who does what individually, but what does matter is what the final score is. And when you get that kind of feeling, you get a synergistic effect that really takes everybody to a, a much higher, higher level. And I think the other thing that... That, need, that will continue to accumulate is confidence. There's nothing that builds confidence like performance. You can give pep talks and say all kinds of things, but when you get a, a performance, that tells a person and reinforces to that individual that he is ready. And so I think we've been accu accumulating those, those experiences along the way, certainly at Eleanor Collegiates and Notre Dame Invitational, and this is a great opportunity this weekend at Oshkosh as well. Well guys, definitely looking forward to it. Well, stick around because there's more Cardinal Report just around the corner. We'll be back with NCCSID Clark Tusher to get caught up on the rest of Cardinal Athletics right after the break. <laughs> 